Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Hobby Hunt. Uh, so today we're going to be going over proper lighting for an EV character render. And so what I've noticed with EV to make it look as good as Cycles is you have to be a little bit more creative um, with your lighting because you have to kind of fake that natural lighting that Cycles can do. So... There's a couple tips and tricks that I've found along the way. So I'm going to delete all these lights that I already have in my scene. And we can start from scratch and show you guys exactly how to do it. And I'm going to delete my reflection cube map just in case you're a beginner so you can see everything that I'm doing. So here we got our character. And just so I can at least kind of see what I'm doing at first, I'm going to put in a point light and we're not going to end up keeping this point light this is strictly just so i can see what i'm doing and we're going to give it kind of a high intensity okay so there's our character and as you can see looks good but not quite as epic as before so the first thing i've noticed to do in a scene like this that makes it much more poppy and intense. And I'd say this is the most important number one thing that you should do for any character render if you're just doing it for pure looks is we're going to get some area lights and I've got to rotate this. And the first thing that I think is the most important thing to do is to get some lights behind her so she has some nice silhouette lights because this just makes your whole character just pop off the screen a little bit more because you can see like she looks good but it would be nice to have some highlights along these edges uh, just to emphasize her shape so let's make this I, I usually like to do a very high um, a very high power on these because I think it helps to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm going to try, like, oops, let's try adding one more zero into there. There we go. And let's back this one off just a bit. I'm going to back it over here. All right, and let's see how that's looking. Okay, that's fine for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep kind of messing with this stuff as we go to the scene. But there you go. You can see like this outline over the edge. Oh, and before I forget, let's add our reflection cube map in. So shift A, and then we're going to light probe and reflection cube map. So I'm going to hike it all the way up. And this is a little tip slash trick for reflection cube maps. Sometimes, unless they've fixed it very recently, if you have your actual little cube center here inside of another object, your cube map won't work quite correctly. So make sure that this cube isn't actually inside of another object. Make sure that it's slightly out of it or off to the side. Um, just because then it'll kind of make it so your cube map, I guess, just... Uh, is hidden inside that object. I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, it'll just make it ineffective. And I'm going to go over here, and if you haven't already, I'd turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections just in case. Uh, I've also got a couple other things, volumetric lighting and volumetric shadows. And make sure that also with this light that you have, because we're just going to be controlling uh, we're just going to be shifting, so just duplicating this light a bunch. So make sure with this light, you go to contact shadows and turn those on. Because then, look, you see the difference there? So this character has skin if you get really close. And this is just done using like different uh, bump textures. She doesn't actually have skin on her mesh. But you see those little bumps? And then we're going to turn on contact shadows and now we can actually see those bumps on her skin. So that is more important than you might realize, depending on the character you have. I recommend always turning it on, just because it ju will just make your character look better. Okay, so now that we have that one, we want to kind of silhouette both sides. 
depending on what you're going for. This side is fine with more of a uh, more shallow uh, lighting here on the side, but this side I think I want it to be a little thicker. So I'm going to shift D and then take this guy over here. And you can already see it's doing some lighting. And we're going to rotate it. And I'm going to bring it a little closer to us because I, like I said, I kind of want a little bit more lighting on this side just so we can. Yeah, I think that looks nice so far. Yeah, you guys can already kind of see the importance, I think, of doing a silhouette light. It just makes your character pop more. But now we're missing one thing. And that's why this is so easy. You just need the silhouette lights. And I think the thing we're missing for this character, because it's Harley Quinn, and we kind of want to see her face a little bit better, we're just going to do an area light right on her face. But we're going to do it super soft and subtle. So hopefully it won't um, flush out the scene too much and it's important to do this light soft because if you can if you do it too bright <laughs> you can see what happens already if you have a super bright light oh my gosh <laughs> okay so first i gotta get this facer and then we're gonna shrink it down a ton just like that a little bit more even and i'm gonna move it in right next to her face Okay, now obviously that is too bright. She's become the sun. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 75 power. And that already looks pretty good. Let's see what it would look like without it. I'm going to just hit H to hide it. And where's my camera? There's my camera. So this is what we're going to kind of see in the scene so far. And then I'm going to hit Alt H to bring it back. Yes, that is much better. And I do think, though, that we lost a little bit too much of the uh, lighting for the side. So I might see, maybe I'll boost that one up a little bit more. And now that we've kind of got the scene lighted, also delete that initial light that we put in as just kind of a reference because we don't want that messing up our scene. In fact, maybe we're okay just by deleting that. So yeah, she still has more of an outline there. I might up the brightness just a smidge on this guy. Let's up it to 17,000 to see if that will make it look a little bit better. Now let's try 20. So yeah, I think that that's looking pretty good. I might actually dim this one down a smidge. Let's see if it would look better to bring this guy over or to dim that one down. But, yeah, you just want to play with it. Have a good balance with your silhouette lights. And, you know what? I'm feeling okay about this so far. And also what silhouette lights do that's kind of nice, especially if your character has different clothing, is it just makes your clothing look kind of cool. If it's intricate, like you see, she's got her belt loops here. And it just lights them in kind of an interesting way. And it bounces off their edges. Like, it just emphasizes things super nicely. So, that's why it's so important. Let's move it like this. And try and bring it... Oh, that might be too much. Let's see. That is not bad. Something like that but you know I might have it be more of a shallow angle than I initially thought yeah something kind of like that and so there you go that's kind of like the basics of doing lighting in a scene here let me do a quick render here we'll probably have this in the thumbnail and by the way, since this is Eevee, this is a 4K render. And I don't know how powerful systems you guys are using. Uh, but if you can manage to do the lighting in Eevee, I would highly recommend it. Because I think that it looks roughly as good as it would in Cycles, depending on how you do it. That looks pretty good. And 
it's so much faster. This was in 4K, and it's already done. It took, what does it say, 14 seconds. So that's not too bad for 4K render. So yeah, that's the basics. I would do, most importantly, silhouette lighting, and then just a little smidge, depending on your character, in the front somewhere to emphasize the areas you want to emphasize. I want to emphasize your face, because it's Harley Quinn, and you kind of want to see your face a little bit better. But... That rule goes to anywhere. You can just focus on the body itself and have the face more shadowed. So, yeah, guys, thank you for sitting through this tutorial on uh, correct lighting for an EV character render. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. And leave some comments if you guys would like any other content in the future or uh, to maybe know how I did this character design. Because I think what would surprise a lot of people is this is just a make human model. So nothing too crazy. I just used make human model and then I altered it a little bit using uh, some of the Blender assets. So, Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching the video. You guys all have a terrific day.